Hi, my name is Rob Karen. I'm president of Karen Engineering, and I'm here to show a presentation on our TMAC system. We're going to show today how TMAC can monitor small tools, we can do adaptive control, and we can also do basic tool monitoring. This uh, first tool that we're going to show is a small 1 16th drill cutting in aluminum. You're going to see the sensitivity of the tool monitor system here. And you can see on the screen that the tool is drawing a very small amount of horsepower, but you easily can see the signature of that small drill when cutting in aluminum. The lines on the screen are showing the red as extreme limit, the yellow as a wear limit, and the blue line is the undercut limit. The next drill is for a 5mm tap, and you can see it's very easily pronounced on the screen. And again, you can see the limits, yellow being uh, wear and red being extreme. That just drilled three holes, very evident as you see on the screen. This is now a tap, and we're going to get to see how the time increment limits works. That gray area is shaded out, meaning nothing's happening. Now you can see when the screen turns black, that's the actual monitoring section of the tap. You can see the limits are still drawn on the screen. So we've ignored in the gray area all the reversals, and we've looked at the tap in real time. This next cut is going to demonstrate adaptive control where we've selected a, a horsepower to achieve and we're going to automatically override the feed rate to maintain that. You can see that the horsepower is in white and the feed rate override being applied is in purple. Now this is where the end mill went through one of the holes that was drilled previously and you can see how quickly the response to that was. This next cut is another adaptive a cut but we're allowing even a higher uh, amount of feed rate override to be applied. Again, you can see the same action taking place where the horsepower is in white and the feed rate override is in purple. This is demonstrating the sensitivity. Again, you can see where the two, hole, two holes that were drilled, as the end mill went through, the system immediately reacts to those voids.